Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rob, and today we're doing another mini PC review. I know right, big surprise. Aliwava's U58 is another mini featuring the U-series processor. Lower power draw, less heat, and in most cases, less fan noise. Oh yeah. Performance also takes a hit, but for the wattage, they scale remarkably well. The U58 comes with a metal case, and the whole mini just has a very metal look to it. Do you like metal? I like metal. Let's be friends. Inside this one is AMD's Ryzen 5825U, an 8-core CPU with Vega graphics that is a few years old, yet holds up well for many computing tasks and even some light gaming. This mini is available as bare bones or as a pre-build. The one I received is the 32GB RAM, 512GB storage model, which after the 50 US dollar coupon provided, comes in at around 334 US dollars. Included in the box is a HDMI cord, there's a mount with screws, a 2.5 inch SATA storage expansion cable, along with a 19 volt, 65 watt wall power supply. The USB-C port on the front is fully featured and supports both power delivery and display. I tested it using my USB-C monitor and it worked fine, although it would be nicer to have this port on the back for that usage case. There's a 3.5mm audio jack and two USB 3 5 gigabit. The back has two HDMI ports supporting up to 4K 60Hz displays. The remaining USB ports are USB 2, and for networking, there's a Realtek Gigabit LAN jack. So all in all, this mini can handle three displays at 4K 60Hz. Aliwaba has opted for a MediaTek Wi-Fi 60 card for wireless and Bluetooth. Alrighty, let's have a quick look inside it. Just four exposed screws. Fantastic. Lift up the lid, and under it is a slot for the 2.5 inch SATA drive if you want to add more storage. DDR4 3200 memory is used for the pre-build. Underneath the Gen 3 NVMe SSD is the M.2 wireless card. Unfortunately, there's no cooling on the NVMe drive. When you fire up the pre-build, Windows 11 Pro will greet you. And a scan for malware and rootkits came back clean. The U58 also works fine with Ubuntu if you don't want to use Windows. So that works well for those wanting to get the bare bones unit. Okay, now we'll look at the benchmarks. AMD lagged behind Intel in single core with its fifth generation, but the 5825U still holds up decently today with over 1400 points in Cinebench R23. This score matches the other 5825U mini tested. A multi-core score of 8000 for the U58 is behind the Herc Pulsar, which hits over 10,000. In Geekbench single core, the U58 again matches the Pulsar. Interestingly, it also managed to match it in Geekbench multi-core, which is a shorter test than Cinebench. In the short H.264 CPU video encoding test, it's close to equaling the Pulsar. While with a much longer AV1 CPU encoding test, it falls behind, by a lot. Continuing the CPU tests, Geekbench AI shows the lowest results so far with a Pulsar doing much better. So the U58 CPU performance isn't great, but when we switch the AI to GPU results, the U58 gets its first win over the Pulsar. And that continues in the graphics benchmark, where it comes out ahead in Firestrike DX11. It also beats it in TimeSpy DX12, and has a substantial win in Steel Nomad Lite. So the integrated graphics side, performance is good. Aliwava correctly labels the U58 as a mini PC with light gaming capabilities. It works best for esports titles. or older AAA games. And it can handle emulation decently too.
Still going to be a while before the Photoshop and Premiere benchmark charts are really useful, but we can compare against the ERC Pulsar with a limited data set, and the two are pretty close. In Adobe Premiere, the U58 had the worst result, although there's only 50 points or so separating it and the Herc Pulsar, which isn't exactly a large gap. I've tried editing a Premiere project at 4K on a 5825U, and it is possible. Not the greatest experience with slower responsiveness than I'm used to, but it can be done. According to 3 d Mark storage benchmark, the Gen 3 SSD included in the U58 is the fastest Gen 3 so far, beating out a bunch of Gen 4 drives. Impressive for a no-name drive. SSD temps are above average, but manage to avoid thermal throttling during the tests, which is a better result than expected, considering there's no cooling for it. Alright, Bluetooth testing is up next, and the range was pretty mediocre. Wireless is also tested at a distance of 12 meters or 39 feet using the 5G band, and it worked okay with no dropouts or latency issues. AMD U series minis typically have very low idle power draw, and the U58 sticks to that trend at just 7 watts from the wall. And it doesn't draw a lot of power no matter what you do, with a maximum well below many other CPUs. Though in most cases, those come with better performance. CPU temps stayed below 90C, but the benchmarks show that it isn't boosting for longer periods as it didn't manage to hold the same scores and results as the Herc Pulsar on the CPU side with the lengthier tests. Fair noise is low when compared to the majority of mini PCs on this list, but it is higher than the Herc Pulsar under load. Aliwava's U58 is a small mini PC, even with its 2.5 inch SATA slot, taking up very little volume. The delete key on startup will get you into the BIOS. There you can find a few options in advance, system power management. Hardware monitor allows you to mess with the fan settings. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anywhere to set the VRAM limit. Alright, so let's summarize the findings on this one. Aliwava's U58 is a mini PC with a nice metal case. It has a full featured USB-C port. IGP performance is good, but CPU performance could be better. There's no cooling on the NVMe drive, and I'd like the price to be a bit more attractive. Overall, a pretty decent entry that has some room for improvement. If you're interested, affiliate links and coupons are in the video description. But do you need something even cheaper? No worries. I've got a top 5 list of mini PCs under 250 US dollars right here. Cheers!